Yo, what's good, guys? My bad for lack of posts lately. As you can tell by the randomness in the background, I just moved out. Your boy just moved out to his new crib. So I've been super busy, but I did create this incredible, incredible, incredible Pendulum Magician Endymion deck for you guys. Absolutely remarkable. Six, seven negates every single turn. Blitz creeks through hand traps, through any hand traps. You guys already know the drill. This is one of my greatest works yet. I am so proud of it. I'm going to be releasing combo tutorials of it in the future. And expect a bunch of videos, a bunch, a bunch of videos in the near future of everything meta related, especially Pendulum, to make up for the past weeks of not much content. Again, we've been super busy, just moved out, gotta get ready, paint, etc, etc, etc. But drop a like right now since your boy just moved out, baby. Shout out to me, shout out to me, shout out to the pen beard, okay? And hey, a little shout out to the greatest fans in the world who've been stuck with me through this super, super grind time. Now, enjoy this incredible deck. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy greatness, my friends. Before we get started, guys, don't forget to check out my mat in the description. The new mats have zones. It's super awesome. All right, let's get started, man. As I said in the beginning, every deck needs a game plan. You're going to notice the game plan so quickly, I don't even need to explain it. The deck revolves around these nine cards. Let me mix these up here. Three Servant, three Spell Power Mastery, three of Doctor. The deck revolves around these nine. Why? You Every hand, you resolve it, no matter what. The deck plays 37 spell cards, bro. 37 spell cards. 60 card deck, obviously, but 37 spell cards. You resolve this every single time. And before you say, oh, 60 card deck, 10 of them say draw one or two. So it's literally a 50 card deck. And you just need more and more spells to ensure you get to resolve these. And the deck resolves around, around, resolves around all of them. Now, you don't just have 37 spells. You also have 30 turbo cards. So when you think of a 60 card deck, you typically think of, oh, brick, brick. But no, no, no. This deck has 30 turbo cards and 37 spell cards, 10 draw cards. It's unbelievably, insanely consistent. I've never seen a better deck, a pendulum deck in this in my life. I'm not even joking. And there's no need for PK or Orcus anymore simply because of Heratic Link. So I'm going to get more of the deck, but I'll show you guys the combos at the very end. But now you're going to notice how many spell cards for these cards to resolve. So I'm going to put these to the side, all right? Just so you guys can see that every hand, you're going to resolve these cards and you're going to... Everyone who played Endymion knows the power of this deck when these resolve every time. So the other cards in the deck is more turbo cards. You're going to go turbo cards first. These six, as you notice, what these do is they leave the field instantly. So if you open one of these nine in your 50 card deck because you have 10 upstar goblins in the deck, which I'll explain later, these add a free counter, leave the scale, add another scale, they get free counters. So they're not just turbo cards, but they're also a free spell for these. More turbo cards plus spells. Foolishes, Triple Shrine. Triple Ravine, Double Terraform, and people don't play these, but they don't understand the power of Guard Dragons. These are absolutely necessary in every single Pendulum deck moving forward with the release of the Heratic Link. The Heratic Link is so damn powerful, you must play these, and Distrudo Mirror is still, uh, until Mirror and Yazi get hit, is a must play in every Pendulum deck. And as you know, there's just more spells for all these, but they're not just spells, they're also Turbo Cards. Next, now these don't give spell counters to these, but... More turbo cards, you play 15 discard outlets, dark Rome's, you play more than 15 as I'll explain later. You play 16 discard outlets, dark Rome is an instant turbo card if you draw it because you're always going to discard it when you're 16, 17 discard outlets. So more turbo cards and as you notice, nine, these all become turbo cards as 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 23, 24, 27. You play 30 turbo cards, uh, bro, it doesn't matter how many hand traps your opponent has. They can literally have a hand trap, uh, uh, 5 hand traps in their head. And they still won't do anything. Out of all these cards, they're also all these cards I showed you, with the exception of Triple Dark Home and Triple Cerberus, leave the scale and give a counter to the to the to these nine. So as I'm gonna keep these nine here just so you see how you're gonna resolve these nine every single turn. And that's how we built this deck. Uh that's all you want. You want these, plus you want the pencil magician to be in the scale at the end, which and the power of harmonizers while you play those. Next, our draw power. I'm gonna show you the pencil magician at the very end. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to resolve these. 10 cards that say draw one. Into the Void. One of the best cards in the format for Endymion. If you don't play Into the Void, you're a moron. You must play it. It is literally a fourth, uh, four upstar goblins. The fact where it says, oh, you only have three cards. It doesn't matter. Like, it's never going to happen. If you go first, you use it. If you go second, you use it. it doesn't, like, there's no turns after turn four or turn five. Like, you're never top decking this. It's not like that. 
Like the dual, dual like Yu-Gi-Oh isn't like that anymore. It's not 2007. Play Triple Into the Void in any single Endemia deck you play. Otherwise, you're an absolute idiot. Now, Desires and Allure, since you're playing Pendulum Magicians, always is fantastic. You can't play the Allure and Endymion. You couldn't hear it. Now, as you notice how many spells there are in this deck, like all of these are spells that leaves a field plus all the Pendulum calls. Like These resolve every single time, no, no matter what they have. They can ash your servant and your servant will still resolve. Like This deck is so incredibly, unbelievably consistent. It absolutely blows my mind how good it is. Now, you have th so far I showed you have 30 turbo cards and 10 draw cards and abductors and servants and endemions, all that. They're resolving every time. Now, this is how you put up power on the field and put up six, seven negates without any bricks in your deck. But now you still need the scales in your deck, and that's when the magicians come in. That's why they're an incredible combination together. So you want to play triple pen call, triple duels alliance, more spell card counters. And gets you the scales which you need plus the power card which is harmonizing. So the magician cards you play are also a pen call does for those who don't know is it gets rid of Mystic Mind. So you got to get Dragon Pit which is MVP out of the magicians now. Uh, get rid of the garbage Mystic Mind most overrated card in the game and just whoop your opponent. Now the magicians we play we do play a bunch of draw powers so you don't want too much wisdom minds because of pen call but you do always want one just in case sometimes it's the correct play to summon Electrum to add it back. Sometimes it's a correct play. And as you guys are going to notice, Hatchets don't do anything. Because no matter what you hit, it doesn't matter. I'll explain all these now in depth for you guys. You're going to look at two Harmonizes. But, oh, why two Harmonizes? You're the best card in the deck. Bro, you play eight Harmonizes because of Triple Pen called Triple Deuce Alliance. And 90% of the time, Electrum Send is useless. You don't need Electrum Send. Simply because you have so much uh, power hitting onto the board, you don't even need it. So a lot of the times, you literally send the Harmonizing. And you don't want to have access to five Harmonizing Magicians. Like... You don't need more than that. You only play two because you play Desires. Now you're also thinking, oh, why so many one ups and Desires? Bro, Magicians are not important in this deck. Uh, they're just there. If you banish half your Magicians, it doesn't matter. You just need one pen call to resolve. Eight is even too much, but we have eight in there anyways. You also might want to look at Dragon Caller and say, why do you play Dragon Caller? You want an option for another low skills. So you have three low skills. So even if you banish two low skills, you have another. And you want two level sevens just in case. And the only thing I would take a Dragon Caller for is another dra double Dragon Pit. You don't need anything else. Purple Poison itself even sucks. I might even put in Dragon Pulse instead. Because Dragon Pit and Dragon Pulse also discard Dark Worm going second. So going second, you get a free pop of a problem and special the Dark Worm. You still need the Wisdom Eye. I, I had to have access to whichever you want to be able to send with Electrum at times when you, when you need it. And Dragon Call is also there because you uh, the whole play is revolved around Guard Dragons. Sometimes when you you, you have Pen Call but no, dra no Dragons, Dragon Caller lets you still resolve your seven, six to seven negate combo. Seven if you don't normal summon, six if you did. Uh, so this is all you need. Two harm I'm telling you is all you need if you play six pen call. Uh, and Electrum with this build, you just don't need Electrum effect. A lot of times you don't need, even need Electrum effect to resolve. But I just make it resolve anyways because it doesn't matter what hand trap they have. Like the way this deck is built now is it doesn't matter what they hand trap. The only hand trap that hurts is Droll. But the only people that play Droll is poor people. So you already won if you play against poor people because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Next, uh, the one ups again. One ups don't like again, again. I'm gonna repeat this again. Desires hurts in decks that play a 40 card one up deck, but like a bunch of one ups in the deck with 40 cards. But this is 60 cards with a billion pendulum engines. Who gives a shit what you banish? You just go through a different route in your play, unless you banish all four of your three dark worms, dragon caller, and Distrudo. Okay, but that's just never gonna happen. Like, it doesn't matter what you banish, you have infinity low skills, infinity high skills. The, uh, if you banish one, uh, a bunch of your one ups who cares? You have so many. They all do the same thing anyway. They're just low scales. You just go through a different route. You just can't be an idiot. One in Demion, that's all you need. More, You don't want to draw too much. Going second, it obliterates your opponent. But you can search it by infinite ways. You can search it by Mastery, this, Electrum, Servant, infinite ways to get this. Abductor, you only need the one. Too many of it will brick. You don't want more ways to brick. One Jackal, again, all you need. If you banish it, who cares? You go through the other route, which is Garuda. I don't have Garuda at this point. If you don't have Garuda yourself, you can play a second Jackal. But Garuda's, there's another way to get rid of Mystic Mind. So you have six pen calls. You have Dragon Pit. You have uh, Purple Poison. That's eight ways to get rid of it. Plus, you have Triple Cerberus and a Garuda. That's 12 ways to get rid of it in a 50-card deck. Because, like I said, you have 10 ways to say draw one. So you have 12 ways, 12 one-card outs to Mystic Mind. For those people that don't know how to play around it, that suck. One gate zero, all you need. And then just Strudel Mirror Mirror because this is literally... The best, like, staple engine in the game. I think every deck that could possibly play this Strudel Mamre has to play it. And because of the foolishness and shrines, you always get it. And the Guard Dragon play always gets it to Strudel. Now, you're going to think, hey, you're playing Guard Dragon, but no Sloth. Where's the Sloth at? 
You don't need slots. I like I said, you don't want cards going first that'll brick you. Uh, the pseudo Mary are there because you need it going second. And as you look here, like I'm gonna just go through the deck quickly again. As you look, draw any combination of these cards going first is absolutely remarkable. I would love to see any combination of these, especially the ones you're seeing right now. Like they're all just turbo cards. They're all turbo cards. I could like all these cards are so damn powerful. I would love any combination of these. If you're looking at these, these are the cards you want to see in your hand. You don't want to see sloth or, or whatever in your hand. You want to see these cards in your hand. These are the cards that let you play through 50 billion hand traps. Uh, with the exception of Droll, because Droll, like I said, only poor people play it, so who cares? And then you got the, you get this, your whatever pendulums you will, these are the magician the cards you want in the scale, and the cards you want the pen summon, like the harmonizing, and then the power cards you're gonna need for going second. Why would you want to make the deck more powerful going first when it's already so incredible going first? You won't need more cards for going second, which these are searchable, and then the Garuda as well for going second mainly. Like, you don't need more Jackals. And you just have one of these. You don't want too many of these because you'll brick on these. As I said, you'll brick on too many zeros. This is all you need. Just a minimal amount. Perfect amount. 60 cards. It is absolutely remarkable. Now, I'm going to show the actual combo at the end, which results in... It ends up on the Heretic Link. Uh, Hot Red, Dragon Archfiend, Vortex, Dragster, a Jackal, and a, a Dragster. Uh, six negates in total. Like, you know, the option of Jackal and Demion. Six negates would be on almost on seven. It's absolutely amazing. And if you want to throw in one slot... For the Hieratic Link to bring it, you can do that as well. But I just don't need it at all. Like, the deck is just so damn powerful. I've never had anyone break my 5 or 6 or 7 negates ever. And they're real, real negates. Like, monster negates. Like, they can't do anything about it. And you have 4 small trap negates. So, Mystic Mind does absolutely shit all. As for the extra deck, I'm going to explain the combo at the very end. But I'm going to show you the 10 cards needed for the combo. I'm proxying a few of them. Uh, there's 10 cards needed for the combo. And then you have 5 cards for going second, which is all you need. I'm going to go in chronological order of what you need for the combo. But again, I'll explain the combo in a later video. Electrum, obviously, signed by myself just because. Absolute and Vortex. The combo goes... I'll explain the combo at the end. But it goes uh, right after Electrum, you go Absolute. You just summon the two... You pen a Harmonizing and a Jackal. Obviously, Gate 0, Level 7, Dark Worm. And uh, two Level 7s, Absolute and Electrum, go into a Metaltron. Bring out the Vortex. Uh, and then you're going to have a Metaltron and, and an LP. The LP is going to bring out a Distrudo. The Distrudo and the Metaltron is going to... Sorry, the... Harmonizing that's out on the field randomly, and the Metaltron's gonna go into a Saryuja. This is a proxy for a Saryuja. Uh, and then the Saryuja, just, it just, it's just there for it, the fact that it's a dragon. And then the Saryuja and the Distrudo, you brought out with LP, is gonna go into Agar Pain. And the Agar Pain is gonna bring a Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, which we're proxying right now, which we're gonna get tomorrow. And then the random Agar Pain and the LP is gonna go into the Heretic Link, which I'm proxying as well, I'm gonna get tomorrow. <clears throat> and then lastly, you go into a Dragster. And you have 30 turbo cards, you never ever use your normal summon. Uh, a lot of the times, it's like usually you end up using with a third monster as well, a lot of the times. And you end up also uh, special summoning a jackal, or you end up having a Garuda in your hand because the Electrum is a fact you never need ever. Uh, or you summon the Endymion from your skill, ending up on 6 7 negates. So uh, those are the cards go you need going first. And then going second are obviously the Boral Sword. And now here's what. I don't understand what a lot of noobs do is it oh rank fours i'm gonna throw in castell and uh d the dark rebellion but no what the fuck you have four like four level fours in your deck uh, yeah you have a harmonizer which is one card rank four but why would you want to hope you have that all the time you what you should be doing is cards you go into all the time so at the end of this combo you don't just put up five six negates you set yourself up for next turn and you have a distrudo for a yazi every single turn i don't understand why on earth people aren't using yazi in this deck when you can go Yazi Mimir like this, it absolutely uh, baffles me. Uh, where people choose hot, uh, sorry, the Dark Rebellion over the Yazi package or some sh something like that. When you, it never breaks you, and you can go to Strudo Mimir like this. Especially in a 60 card deck, you're not going to see Mimir in your hand. And Mimir is the only card in the entire deck you don't want to see. And there's no more P there's no more Orcos cards, there's no more PK cards. The Heretic Link allows you to go off. And the same with the Endymion, it lets you go off. So with uh, the release of the Heretic Link, the Guard Dragons give you crazy, crazy, crazy power. Where you don't even need the PKs or the Orcas anymore. And then lastly, again, instead of using rank 4 cards that are useless. Or like a Tornado Dragon or Dweller going first. When you already have 6-7 negates. Who cares about going first? You already have 6-7 negates going first regardless. And if they hand trap you throughout, it doesn't matter. It just means like less of a dragster. Or like a less negate. You still have 4 or 5, 6 negates up regardless of how many hand traps they have. It just means like if they have 1 hand trap, it's like 1 less negate. Electrums are relevant in this build. Uh, and then what you do is you, instead of having random rank fours that do nothing, you put in the nightmare package, which for some reason no one plays. I don't understand why. That you're literally morons if you don't play this in Pendulum. And I'm sad I have no space for Cerberus, but uh, I want to put Cerberus in. I, you just can't. And I side Borlord against Thunder Dragons. I'll explain a side deck theory in the future. 
I wanted this video to be under 15 minutes. I could talk about pendulums for years and years and years, but that's the deck, guys. Absolutely remarkable. It puts up a board. There's going to be a few proxies here. Again, my bad for that. Uh, this is going to be uh, the end board is always, always, always. Heretic Link. Like, we're talking regardless of the hand traps. Heretic Link, Heart Red Dragon, Archfiend's over here, Drex is over here, and then you're going to have the Jackal. Or is it? A uh, Jackal or Endymion, depending on your choice. This is just the basic, basic, basic uh, board. Uh, then you're going to have a Jackal or Endymion out here, whatever you like. And then if you don't use your normal summon, or a lot of times, it's, sorry, usually you could special summon out the Jackal a lot of the times. And the way you do the seven is you play the one, uh, just the one uh, thing for the Heretic Link to bring out to make the Heretic Link two negates. And this is the, if you don't use your normal summon, and this is just a normal board. Or a, a cool thing is you have the board like this, and you have the Endymion in the high scale, which is always the end goal. You always want to try and get the Endymion in the high scale, which you search for so many possible ways. And I still don't believe this is possible, because it's just too good to be true. But uh, apparently you could special summon this by taking a six. The, six, the Jackal's going to have like infinite counters, by the way, because it's going to be on board by the Servant. I don't know if it's true, but it's too good to be true. But you take a six counters from this special summon, it's op apparently it's optional to pop. If that's the case, which is a little too good to be true for me, you summon this and get yourself another free negate. So, uh, anyways, that's the board. Uh, the typical board is this with this Heretic Link, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend. And if that's the case, it's this. And uh, that's absolutely remarkable. And if you play the Persona Dragon or a Persona Dragon in your deck or a one uh, uh, Sloth or a, a Morphage, whatever, for the Heretic Link, this is Heretic Link, this is Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend. You end up, as soon as they get rid of one of these negates, whenever they can, let's say for example, you let them get rid of one of them, you get rid of this, whatever, then this will bring out a Persona Dragon or a, a, a Sloth or whatever you want in the, the situation. Unfortunately, it'll be zero attack, but it doesn't matter. And you have all these negates anyways. And if they play Mystic Mind, you've got Dragster, a Hot Red Dragon, Vortex, and a Demion. You got four negates uh, for that. So it's honestly every single turn. And there's, there's no bad hands here. Like... There's no situation where it's like, oh, it bricked. Like, there's no bricks. Like, it's impossible to brick with this deck. I could do 1,000 test hands. I'll put money on it. I could do 1,000 test hands, and every single one of them will be four plus negates. Every single one. Like, every single one. Like, there's no bad hands here. Like, it's impossible to have a bad hand. Like, the worst hand. Like, no, there is no bad hand. We're going to do test hands in the whole week. We're going to be doing a bunch of pendulum videos. I wanted to release this one for you guys right now because I thought I released, uh, created gold here. This deck's absolutely remarkable. Test it online and you guys can see for yourselves. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the outro of the video, guys.